I'm Mary Hartnett with Siouxland Public Media News. As many as 60,000 cyclists are expected to be on today's leg of Ragbri from Ames to Des Moines. It would be the largest ever day on the bike ride, and it's one of the hottest days of the year so far. A heat advisory is posted for Iowa's southern half and western Iowa, including Siouxland and the Iowa Great Lakes, Forecasters say the heat index may reach 105 degrees. Hans House, an emergency medicine professor at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, says people who are most vulnerable to heat stroke are the very young, the very old, and those on certain medications. The experts say to skip strenuous outdoor activities, and if you have to be outside, drink plenty of water and take frequent breaks in the shade. That is not an option for most ragbri riders as they head for Iowa largest city. Many of Des Moines main roads are closed to accommodate bike traffic with limited pass-through points for cars. And Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds is on her first ragbri ride this week. She joined her brothers Troy and Doug Strong as well as her nephews and a few other friends on her first rag bri this morning, hoping to ride the whole way from Ames past the capital in Des Moines. Iowa and 10 other Midwestern states are conducting a speed awareness campaign today. The Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau chief says Iowa has seen a 25% increase in speeding-related deaths on the roadways. There is some speculation that the lack of traffic and open roads during the pandemic led to increased highway speeds, and it has continued continued with traffic volumes up once again. Some Dickinson County residents are asking local officials to pass a moratorium on wind turbine construction in unincorporated areas of the county. They spoke at Tuesday's meeting of the County Board of Supervisors. A large crowd gathered for that meeting this week. The Planning and Zoning Commission is currently reviewing that request. The Sioux City Bandits have withdrawn from the Champions Indoor Football League along with the Omaha Beef and Topeka Tropics. They are leaving, saying they intend to form a new league with the Bandits and some other yet-to-be-named teams. That's Siouxland Public Media News. I'm Mary Hartnett.